What's up, day family, y'all? Okay, today I'm gonna be running a couple errands and I want you guys to go with me. Today is gonna be a long day because it's the beginning of the month and bills are due. I gotta excuse the background. It's cars, I live right by Busy Street. But yeah, bills are due today, so I have to go pay my rent, do the light bill, go to Planet Fitness, and cancel my membership with them because I haven't been going and I've been paying them faithfully every month, like $40 a month, you guys. I pay $20 for me and $20 for Kevin. It's that flat rate, um, but we're going to start going to this, uh, they just built a outside gym, a free gym outside at the, our Nelson Park, which is by the lake. So that's more convenient. We could just go there, save our money, and come to find out these people done took a hundred dollars out of my account because I didn't go and um well I already told them I talked to them and told them that I wanted them to take well to cancel the uh subscription, but I would have to go in and fill out some paperwork and I still haven't done that yet, y'all. So, you know, I gotta blame myself for this. But anywho, I had went to um I mean, I got to go to the bank right now so they can um, fix this. But I already talked to my bank about, like, if I don't have money in my account, don't let nobody or whatever, you know, do overdrafting on my car. And they overdraft, like, over $100. So I'm going up here now to get this fixed. And I will let you guys know in a sec what's going on. So you guys stay tuned. I know a lot of people go through this situation with this bank stuff and having stuff on your account that's been taken out and then you think about it later like oh my god they are study taking money out and I don't I don't even use this no more. So you guys just stay tuned and I'll let you guys know in a sec what's going on. Okay yeah, I am back. I haven't went in the bank yet. I went to Planet Fitness first to see um I'm at the bank right now sitting in the parking lot. That's the bank behind me. I went to Planet Fitness first to see um, if they would um, cancel my membership. They told me that I would have to pay $60 to cancel my membership. Mad y'all, it's the first of the month, it's bills due, and I'm not a wealthy person. So they took $100, like I said, $100 off of my card. The man gonna tell me that I would have to pay the $60 first in order to cancel. Uh, but y'all just overdraft, overdraft on my card and kept running my car and now I just paid I had to pay my bank a hundred and some dollars because y'all kept trying to charge my car you know some I'm highly upset right now I had to stop and give me some food got me some Wendy's they are really I don't know what's going on like I'm finna go in this bank and I'm finna have to have to have a talk with them about this because I'm gonna have to change my account number or something because they is doing too much. Look, y'all, this juicy burger. Maybe this will make me feel better. This juicy burger. Y'all want some juicy burger? Oh my god. And it's the triple. Why did I do this to myself? I haven't liked the whole thing. It's good too. I am really upset because my daughter is out of town. I got to send her some money so she can get her phone fixed. And then rent due, car note due, everything is due. I don't have no money for nobody to be taken from me right now. It's really making me frustrated. Man, y'all just don't understand. I know somebody on here, whoever watching, probably went through this before. These people charging you to cancel cancel a membership. What? I've barely been there. Y'all been getting free money from me for seven eight months now this is july on the way this is august august 1st i paid for my membership back in january beginning of january january 1st i went to the gym two times 
I went to the gym twice, literally twice. So y'all been getting $40 a month from me every month without me even going. Y'all getting free money from me and you still gonna charge me? It don't make sense. Messed up policies. And then the manager, he wasn't professional enough. He was like, well, well, there are side policies. Like, I just thought he was rude. I know it's y'all policy or whatever, but still. It's the way he was saying it and handling it. He didn't make me feel better or nothing. He made me feel worse. Now I gotta go sit here and talk to my bank and see if they can reimburse me my money back. Because I talked to them too about it before too. They supposed they had a um they supposed they had blocked it to where can't nobody um like if I do have my account set up to where money is being taken out every month for whatever the case may be that I had a block on it so where it can't overdraft and it's still overdrafted so I'm not understanding why this is going on it's crazy y'all this burger this burger is delicious. I'm about to go in this bank in a second. Get this straight. Man, y'all just don't understand. Why oh, I sent this lady last time I came to the bank? I guess she live around here. I don't want to show her, but... Aww. She looks like she at least 90. She is welcome. <laughs> I know y'all can feel my pain and how frustrating this is when you have money that people are taking from you out of your bank account that's supposed to be secured. Oh my goodness. Now this burger. I don't know if y'all can see it or not. I have another bite. But yeah, I'm gonna take one more bite and I'm gonna go in this bank. So I'm let y'all know the rest. Y'all yeah, just un understand my frustration right now. Oh my God. So I just left out of the bank and they are, uh, they just made me pay $24 to have the overdraft fee, well, to have them to stop charging my card. So I still had to come out of my pocket, which I don't have right now, because I, once again, I said it's the first of the month and bills are due. So I still had to come up with out of $24 just to pay them to have them to stop charging my car. Like, oh my God, y'all just don't understand. I am highly frustrated right now. Like, my God, can't win for losing. Then I still got, I got so much stuff to do, y'all. I still got extra stuff to do. I gotta go get a money order. I gotta send that off to my landlord. Then I gotta steal. Um, go Western Union, my daughter, some money. <sighs> Look, this YouTube thing needs to hurry up so I can get some real money. It's hard out here for a pimp. Hmm. Yeah, but I'll be back. I'll talk to you guys in a sec. I'm gonna let this camera charge up a little bit. Hi, guys, I'm back. I'm um, sitting here at Crackles right now with my sister-in-law. We got the kids with us. Kids with us. I'm feeling a little better since, you know, I got my sister-in-law around me, you know. Because I was just down and depressed because they keep taking my money. Every month. Hello, boy. Every time I turn around and every time I get my deposits in my accounts, they are taking my money. 
my or either right when there. I'm just going to the bank to go get money, they're telling me that I have insufficient funds. <laughs> Insufficient funds, sir. So, you guys, come in there. I'm trying my best. Ow, ow, ow. Stay focused. You're gonna Don't cry back down. So. Okay, you guys. Say hi to the camera, Mikey. Mikey, Mikey, look. Say hi, YouTube. Mikey. Mikey, look. I'm getting in. Here, you want some more of this? No. Well, you, need stop. you don't want any? You need to stop. You don't want to say hi to YouTube? Mikey. Hi, guys. <laughs> you're, 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 it's Dee Dee. Woo. Yeah, show better in the corner. We get ready to prank Lil Dez. Yeah, yeah. We finna do a prank on Lil Dez. He's, he's seen us recording, but I told him that she was vlogging. Yeah, so <laughs> we're gonna do the fire spray prank on him. We're gonna act like somebody farted. Micah been farting anyway, so we just gonna blame it on Micah. Yeah, we can keep blaming it on him. He's gonna think he boo booed on his. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna be like, oh, I think he boo booed. But we can be my bag. It's in my bag. Is it okay if I hop out the car? Mm. What's that? Yes. For the, uh, yes or no? Honey, we don't know. Mikey, look. I do. I do. I do. I do. Say hi to the camera. Say hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. Say hi. hi. Say hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. <laughs> he tried. <laughs> hi, YouTube. Oh, oh. That's YouTube. That's YouTube. <laughs> You right, Michael. I ain't. Huh? 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 Never knew you guys that Decatur had a you snow cone machine. Get, get five of them. I want a. Uh, Y'all see it? It's small. It's so I want small. a blue. What color you? Okay, guys. So this is day two. This is day two. I went. I got um. Well, I sent my daughter her money Western Union. So I uh, actually sent it to the right place, but. When my niece go picks it up for her, because my daughter is a minor, she go picks it up for her, she tell me that they sent it to the wrong state. The number that they gave me, the confirmation number for the Western Union was sent to the wrong, well, was the, I had actually had the wrong receipt. She gave me the wrong receipt, and this is the manager that we're talking about. So, I called the 1-800 number uh, this morning. Cause I called the currency exchange first. They told me that I would have to either come in or call the 1-800 number and see what happened with it. So I called them, they told me that the money was already picked up. I'm like, how was the money picked up if my, if my niece telling me that, well, my little cousin, I call her my niece cause she's, you know, younger than me. But she's telling me that she don't, uh, when she went up there to pick the money up, that they saying that the money was already picked up or whatever, and it was sent to the wrong state or however the case may be or whatever. So. I'm getting frustrated once again, so I wound up going, well, calling up there this morning when I woke up, I just had to get up. If you can see right now, I washed my face, you know, got myself together, but my eyes are still swole from waking up. When I wake up, my eyes be swole. But anywho, I called these people and they said um, that the um, money was already picked up and that the sender name was wrong. So I'm reading the sender name on the paper and I'm noticing that it wasn't my name. So I'm study saying my name. She's like, no, we don't have it. Or such and such. So I say the center name that was on a receipt, not thinking, once again. So um, they told me the money was picked up. So I wound up calling the currency exchange back. And they told me to just come up there. And the manager was there. So I just came up there. And the whole time, he kept asking me, like, who is this such and such person? This Paula person. I'm like, I don't know a Paula. I said, this is uh, my little cousin, which is April. So they, um... So he's like, oh, you got the re wrong receipt. She gave you the wrong receipt. Oh, of course. She gave me her receipt. Hey, y'all. 
walking up into Sam's right now I'm gonna get some um, groceries I think I'm gonna do me another seafood boil so I'm gonna walk in here and get some stuff from my seafood boil talk to you when I'm getting in y'all we at Sam's Club oh y'all already know that I touched on it but I got a box of these Doritos the 50 box and this big bag of family size Mason match um, flame hots for $3.49 they're originally five dollars yes i love me some sam's love some sam's sam sam's yeah oh my god y'all yeah. i just had to go to the snack area look at these boys oh my goodness y'all it's $8.98. What kind of pie is this? This is a strawberry single layer cake. And this is, which kind? Oh my God, this is a cheesecake. I might need to get this. It's $15. I know they lying. Okay. Yeah, we're going to pass on that one. Number 22, that platter over there. Yeah, you guys, they got these crab legs. Crab legs, those shrimp. This bag of chicken for like 22. Those Doritos and these flame hot. I think it's like a hundred dollars in this basket. This little bitty stuff, but I am going to get it. So I want it. Hey y'all, so I'm back. I done left Stone Club already. I'm at another store, which is Aldi's. I'm at Aldi's right now. I done went in. I forgot to vlog. I forgot to take my camera. So y'all missed out on all the good stuff that I picked. But I got me some of these pickles. I don't know if y'all tried these before, but these pickles are delicious. They so crunchy. I might do, I can't do no ash with it because I can eat it right now. But, and I got some um, mango slices. It's just the snack on for right now. Mango slices. I was looking for a mixed bowl, but they didn't have any. So, and chow on this for a second till I get home. You guys stay tuned for the rest. Y'all, now we in a dollar store. It's just shopping day. Shopping, shopping, shopping. Well, I just left out of the grocery store. Sam's Club and all these. We got this so far. Some juice. Two bags of those chips too, so I can make some of those flaming hot chicken wings. Flaming hot Cheeto wings. Yeah, I'm gonna make some of those, you guys. Kevin okay, trying to find some sticks. We're trying to find the sticks to make the um, corn dogs with. So, y'all, we're going to have a whole bunch of ash marks and mukbangs and stuff coming up. So, y'all stay tuned. We're getting our stuff together now. You want some move? Look at this here. His nappy. <laughs> Pepperoni and sausage. I got pizza. I'm my kind. I did get your kind. I got three of those. And your Pepperoni country? and sausage. Yeah. Is it, uh, I got three of your kind. Oh, okay. I ain't know you were shopping for me. Boy, you just didn't want to go ah. in the store because he was being stubborn, y'all. He was being stubborn. He didn't want to go in the store. We no, I ain't going in the store. He got mad because I bought crab legs and some what's the name. Somehow we can't afford that right now. Well, I want it. <laughs> Shoot. I'm getting it because I want it. We ain't going to go starving. Oh, you know, I ain't going to do that anyway. Yeah, he ain't going to do that. You know. <laughs> Vienna sausages, hey, Vienna sausages and Doritos are amazing, y'all. Man, I'm telling you, I used to eat them. Well, I ate some the other day with some Doritos. They so good. Oh, what them cheese crackers? Yeah, I got them Fantas for a no burp challenge. Yeah, we finna have them videos going on, you guys. Videos, videos, videos. They got a little nice little sale in here too. As usual, it's the dollar store, so you know, school supplies. I gotta come here next week. I should be doing this now, but I'm gonna do it next week. Get all the school supplies, the paper and stuff. They have the paper. They have everything. The binders. That's why I come, might come and get majority of her stuff from if it's not all gone. Have yeah, some of everything here, majority of the stuff that she would need. So, yeah, I might come back in here and get the stuff from here. 
Huh? He all the way down in Harlem. Yeah, that one. Getting some tissue. Tissue, tissue. That's a deal too, that Pamala, that $4.95. Can't beat that neither. Huh? Now we're gonna need some washing powder. So we back at Aldi's job. I just left Aldi's. Kevin won't come in the store with me. Now he wants to go back to Aldi's because he wants some cheese. I bought cheese, but he still wants some more cheese. So we're back at Aldi's again. Yo, the truck is full back there. The car is full. And we still shopping. Okay. I just want to know who's going to put this stuff up. Is y'all going to help me put this stuff up? Y'all going to help me put this stuff up? Okay. Hold that thought. Stay tuned. I got y'all. Who going first? Who want to put the refrigerator food for, up first? Who want to do the cabinet first? Okay, cool. Boom. Got you. Go ahead. Go ahead. That means I can sit on the couch, right? Keep them feet up and watch TV while y'all do that. Okay. Who gonna clean up the kitchen? Somebody gotta clean up the refrigerator before we put this food in the refrigerator. Who gonna do that? I guess I'll clean out the refrigerator. I guess I'll clean out the refrigerator. Tomorrow is cleaning day. So, yeah, I have to clean out the refrigerator today. So, yeah. I wanna do some videos today, but I have to clean. So I will clean today and I guess do more videos tomorrow. I'll make sure I post up a video today though. Gotta keep these videos flowing and coming. Coming and flowing and going. And f coming and flowing and going. You know, we have to do this. We have to keep the show on the road. Trying to be big YouTubers here. Shoot. We're gonna be monetized one of these days. One of these days soon, we're gonna be monetized, you guys. Shoot. You know, what people think this is, think I'm going to be just sitting up shopping all day for food and, you know, household items. I don't do stuff like that. I'm lying. <laughs> I like shopping for clothes and stuff. Shit. Even though I had fun today shopping because I got all the stuff I wanted to do for my videos. So, you guys know, I'm going to be coming with videos back to 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 back back. Yes, it's going to be lit. It's going to be lit the next coming week. So, you guys, stay tuned. Stay tuned. Make sure you smash that notification bell. Make sure you smash that notification bell. Make sure you subscribe, okay? First of all, do that first. Subscribe. And after you subscribe, make sure you smash that notification bell. Yeah, but I'm out. I'm out for a minute, okay? Yeah. Thank y'all for always watching me. Hi guys, today is Sunday and we made it back home. Unfortunately, y'all know we made it back home, put the groceries up and did everything, cooked, you know, laid around for a second, had a cocktail or two. So, you know, today's Sunday, today is rest day and also editing day. So I'm be editing videos all day today and just got through doing a mukbang. So, yeah, this weekend has been full and tiresome. Like I'm really tired today, so. After I get done editing two of my videos, I'm going to do some more editing tomorrow. Um, I'm going to lay down and watch me some TV today. Watch me find me a good TV show to watch or something. If y'all know any good TV shows, comment down in the comment section and let me know what to watch because I'm still trying to find something new to watch. Um, and thank you guys so much for always tuning in. Uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe to my channel if you're new. And also, if you are already a family member, which is a day family, don't forget to um, like this video and give me a nice comment and any other video suggestions that you think we should do. Thank you guys so much and peace out. Peace out.